Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Prof. Good to see you again. Well, I'm still in the hospital now, but uh, this lecture is delivered from the hospital. Perhaps uh, this this afternoon we are going back to 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 our home because my wife is still in the hospital. She fell down last Sunday, last week, and then she had to undergo a surgery. And now I think um, she has to get recovered soon. This, this afternoon, I think um, we may be assigned to, to go back to, to our home. Okay, how are you? Good? Yes, I'm a good Very good, sir. Very good, sir. Well, I, I think I, I have to... Um, if you if you hear... If you hear the voice of my wife, who is now teaching also from the hospital, she's teaching from the hospital. She's teaching mathematics at the Christian uh, Petra University. <laughs> okay, if you if you hear the voice of my wife, oh, it's it's okay. But but I think please pay attention to my lecture. Okay. <laughs> Have you got her um, the PowerPoint from um, YouTube? Pa Umar has uploaded from uh, my, my PowerPoint um, at YouTube. Okay. Well, <clears throat> now I'm waiting for your question. If you don't understand uh, my lecture that has been <clears throat> Upload it at YouTube. Please um, ask me some question. Okay. Okay. Please. Yes, Prof. Can I ask a question? Sure, sure. Uh, Good. For um, Aura, for Aura, okay. customary, yeah, for a customary law, usually, um, not usually. I guess some are un considered as unwritten law, right? Um, so then, yeah. how how is unwritten how is that unwritten law applied in court? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Well, please be careful. Custom yeah. is not law. Custom yeah. is not the source of law, but customary law Sorry. is a source of law. So please be careful. Custom is not law. Only customary law is law. So I have told you that custom becomes customary law should take two processes. First, first that should be lengthy used. The practice should be used continually. Okay? Okay? This is the first element. The second element is what we call opinion necessities. You know? Opinion necessities. Can you hear my voice? Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> what is opinion necessities? <clears throat> that the practice is acceptable as law. By whom? By the society. By the society. So if if the society 
accept that the practice <coughs> is law. That is law. For example, in Japanese custody law. <coughs> <coughs> in Japanese customary law, for example, that um, at that time, if a couple divorced, divorced, then the distribution of the uh, property for the husband for the husband it is called subikul i think two third of the of the property to two third of the property uh, belongs to the husband and only one third that belongs to the wife it is called sekendong subikul it has been used for a long long time I don't know since when. We don't know since when it was practiced. And it is acceptable that a woman only gets one third. So, <clears throat> so it is it is customary law. But um the Supreme Court decision in 1950 something i forget it that now if a couple divorced you know the uh, the distribution of the property is half and half it is not customary law it is law created by the judge. It is judge made law. So it is not customary law. What customary law was not not is anymore because it was that the husband gets two third of of the uh, property and the wife gets one third of property it has been practiced for a long time and it has been acceptable as law okay it is is it clear or yes yes clear yes it's clear thank you yeah. so if the activity or the practice is is um, carried out for a long time continually then it is accepted by the society as law this is customary law no longer a custom okay perhaps if you ask me about a custom um like in in Japanese culture, if a, a baby um, is at um, nine months or something like that, there's a custom that what we call uh, city, something like that. It is a custom. It's not law. Okay. Where else, please? Ask question. If if you uh, you don't get any um, <clears throat> understanding on my uh, my lecture that was made last night in here in the hospital. Okay. Uh, Prof, I want to ask question. Uh, sure. So uh, based on your uh, statement before, so judge can use unwritten law such as custom or tradition as a basis for judging a case or not. Mm -hmm. So judgment law, you mean you mean judgment law? Yeah, can judge use uh, uh, unwritten law such as custom or tradition? Good for judging okay. a case. Okay, good. You know that uh, the source of law 
Oh uh, well, I think it is it is the the lecture um before the end of this semester. But now I am telling you no problem that um customary law may be relied upon by the judge. Okay. Okay. Customary law may be relied upon by the judge. So judge not only depends on the statute, not only depends on the written law. Is it clear? Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes, judge may rely Thank upon you. the customary law. And once once judge relies upon the customary law and perhaps this is this becomes a case law. A case law. Okay, and can be relied upon by another judge at the same, no, not the same, at a similar case. Okay, okay. thank you, sir. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, next, please, sir. Can I uh, ask something? Sure. Okay. So in a hypothetical situation where the customary law um, is contradictory to the statutory law, um, how, how will, how is the, um, res how, how do we resolve that contradiction? Okay. That's good. Who, who, who are you? My name is Arya, who? sir. Arya. Okay. Yes. This area. Okay. If there's a contradiction between customary law and um, state, um, written law, okay, that's a good question. Um, what is the solution? It depends on what case. If it is criminal case, there's no unwritten law. In criminal case, strictly written law. Okay. It is criminal case. <clears throat> you know that in criminal case, there's a um, adequate um, adage um, in Latin, in Latin, nullum delictum nulla puna sina previa lege punali. You know, nullum delictum, there is no um, criminal act, there's no criminal act. Nulla, no, puna, sina prefali gibna. If there's no criminal act, after criminal law, that um, prescribe that the, 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 the action is, is a crime. So there should be a law first, I mean, statute, written law first. Then the written law um, will prescribe whether or not that the act is um, considered to be a crime. For example, um, sexual outside marriage, for example, it is not a crime. So, so the police cannot cannot do that. Cannot um, arrest the couple who committed sexual intercourse outside marriage. This is, <clears throat> okay, this is a, um, if it is criminal act, but if it is a case dealing with, dealing with a customary law, I think to me, the unwritten law, customary law should prevail to me. But in administrative law, written law should prevail. For example, you know, in Surabaya, there are some street vendors, you know, street vendors, street vendors, uh, um, the vendors who um, <clears throat> the vendors who um, open um, their kiosk 
on the on the um, what we call the sidewalk. You know sidewalk. What sidewalk? You know sidewalk. The sidewalk fenders. They are they are violator of administrative law. But in their mind, when they they were in a village, they can they can um um open their kiosk anywhere without without their administrative regulation. That in Surabaya, sidewalk fenders are not allowed. Okay, and this is administrative law. So which which prevails? The administrative law prevails over the un unwritten law in this case. Okay, Arya. Arya. Thank you, sir. Yes. You ask me. Okay. Is it clear? Thank you, sir, for that. Yes. Okay, you, sir. Next, please. Next, please. Okay, we discuss. We are discussing. Gavel? Uh, the first one that you are said, um, it's not, um, I mean, custom is not allowed. And then it should be, um, is it can be a compilation for the law itself? Uh, through the based on ethics to um, the consideration. Could you, could you please louder, please? Could you please louder, please? All right. Wait, wait a second. Okay, I want to ask you is that, um, Correct. If the unwritten law or customary law can be mm -hmm. a consideration for the law or even be accepted by the law itself, um, mm -hmm. it's based on ethics that uh, related to the morality. Okay. What okay. kind of morality do you do you mean? In in okay. my mind, in my mind, morality doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't deal with something like sexual morality no not like that so morality I'm, means I'm okay sorry. go on go on uh, the morality which i really um in the base of this question about uh, um sorry i'm in indonesia kasih sayang and uh, with this okay. compassion you mean but, compassion sorry Compassion, compassion and yeah and uh, uh affection affection right yeah because of That's... we think on indonesia itself it's um willing to be a plural considered. people and okay. considered to be plural people inside of it and we okay. need to uh, how to accept it or is it correct being ethics in place of morals Hmm. You know, in in my uh, statement, morality means that this individual individual doesn't harm another. Okay. So the spirit of togetherness it is morality. This is morality in what, what I mean in my. My student everywhere, yeah. anywhere, when I, I write uh, a book, yeah. and now, you know, that's uh, my book, my book on theory, legal theory, has been published since the day, um, since, um, since Friday, last Friday, my, my book, theory, is published, and to me, law is based on moral, but not moral means that sexual intercourse, not something like it. No, even if you don't honor LGBT, it is not moral. So we have to honor LGBT, the existence of LGBT. 
It is moral. What about the, the LGBT itself? It is their business. It is not our business. But I don't like that sexual, um, sorry. Homosexual marriage is is allowed, is permitted in Indonesia. No, it is it is against not against morality, but against natural law. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> if, for example, go on, would you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If um, law, for example, a law permits um, discrimination against minority, for example, it is not moral, even though it is approved by the um, by the parliament. So. A law that discriminates discriminates minority. It is not moral. Who are, who are minorities? Not only um like in Indonesia, not only non is is minority. Not only um in not indigenous people, not only LGBT is also minority you know lgbt is also minority we have to we have to honor them that we <clears throat> we don't have to permit homosexual marriage it is against natural uh, natural law okay this is my statement Okay, not only what you, you call Sarah, but minority, LGBT is also minority. Okay, the, the um, I mean, disabled, you know, disabled is also man, minority. We have to honor them and we have to provide them. This is the reason why at Faculty of Law, you provide elevator you know elevator okay. you call lift yeah. elevator <laughs> because we have yeah. to honor if someone is lame yeah. like professor yeah. rahmi janet she is on wheelchair oh, since um she's she got stroke for yeah. um years ago and she's now on wheelchair and if she's not provided with elevator and the lecture is is held at the third floor how can she go up okay she's minority this able is also minority okay aria are you aria yeah Okay, where else, please? This is discussion. I have another question. Um, so for customary okay. law, is it is there also then like sanction? Like, mm -hmm. and if okay. It, then what 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 is the sanction like? Wait 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 wait. I want to get, to get um. I think it'd be better that I use the uh, earphone because uh, my wife. My wife' um, voice is also. Wait. Oh, aku tak dengar suaranya dia nggak? Okay. Apa kayak earphone? Sorry ya, sorry, sorry. No, no, no problem. It's it's okay. Then you you can teach or teach and yes. and it is. It is a 50 50, but I have to okay, okay. listen to their voice. By and this is uh, 
uh, apa ada membingungkan saudara. Oke, okay, go on, please. Um, so for our customary law, like it doesn't only deal with like problems like divorces and things like that, right? So is there um sanction linked with customary law, like in like as well like in written law? Well, I I think that in 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 um in customary law, um there's no sanction like in criminal law. But I think the reaction of the society, I think it, it, it could be a uh, sanction, what we call reaction of a society. But I think customary law, customary law in here in Indonesia is only is only applied to um, inheritance law. Inheritance law, you know, inheritance law, head law, legacy. Um, you know, to me, uh, unwritten law is not only customary law, but it's also practices, practice in business, practice in business should be uh, considered to be, to be an uh, unwritten law. For example, as I've told you before, I guess that a broker, you know, broker, you know, in Article 62 of Commercial Code, it is laid down uh, Maklar. Maklar is an um, intermediary seller who is appointed by the president or the governor, I guess. Maklar is an intermediary seller who is appointed by the president. Or the governor, and he or she has to be sworn in before the higher court. Before the higher court. While broker is not appointed by the president nor the governor. Who appoints broker? Broker. Is appointed by perhaps um, the uh, company, company <coughs> in brokerage business like Era, Era Property Rewide. Well, okay, broker is not laid down in a statute, but in practice. We can find some brokers, okay? And then suppose that a broker is successful to make um, um, to cause transaction between the, the seller and the buyer. Is the broker entitled to get um, commission or fee? There's no regulation on it. Sorry, there's no statutory regulation on it. Perhaps it is only only um, prescribed by a Ministry um, of Finance or Finance Minister. I guess only a Finance Minister decree. It is not prescribed in the statute well I, I i ask you whether or not that the broker is entitled to get fee because there's no because there's no statutory regulation what do you think about it it's it's fine if he gets um a fee because there's no there's like like you said there's no regulation therefore there's no like um like law that like stops him from getting the fee mm. okay so the the broker 
is entitled to get fee even though there's no regulation so what is the legal basis of getting fee practice practice because uh, it has been accepted by the society that the broker as an intermediate seller um, is successful to make transaction between the buyer and the seller and it is accepted that it is the law that the broker gets fee okay okay this is the practice it is not it is not customary law but it is practices it is one of practices it is a practice now your question is what about if the broker does not get fee or commission if the buyer and the seller do not give the broker fee is there any sanction sure the broker can go to the court to claim to claim um, that he can get uh, the uh, the provision or the commission and what will the court do the court will rely upon the practice in the society if a broker is accept sorry if a broker is successful to to uh, to make transaction between buyer and seller then it is it is acceptable that he gets commission it is a practice so the the court will um decide that the buyer and the seller um should pay should pay the uh, the broker okay is it clear hello Claire, Prof, thank you okay please okay okay next please uh, sir can i uh, ask a question sure who okay uh, me hijam hijam yes so my question is when will a certain an, or example of customary law is not considered anymore as a, as a law anymore so Good. is it when uh, when they stop mm -hmm. their practices doing their, their practices or many people started to violate the law mm -hmm. thank you sir mm -hmm. Okay, good question. Like uh, <clears throat> the law on schedule speaker, as I have told you, um, the court, the Supreme Court, I mean, uh, did not rely upon, um, rely upon the customary law anymore because this is ridiculous reason. Because according to according to the Supreme Court that wives women were also involved in the independent struggle so there's no correlation between the reason and the decision that according to them that sagano speaker is no longer valid it is a court that that um They decided de decided like that, okay. Well, I will tell you in general. If a custom or customary law is no longer um, accepted by the society, so I think that the judge has a discretion to eliminate or to or oh, uh, supersede the custom. Or the customary law. For example, 
you know, in Minangkabau, according to customary law, that uh, the inheritance law is based on matrilineal. You know matrilineal? Okay. But what about if um, Minangkabau people who reside in Surabaya or Jakarta, do they still remain um, um, based their, their inheritance law on the matrilineal um, law? I'm not sure. The judge can, can um, make a decision otherwise. It is if customary law cannot cope with the uh, cannot cope with the, the development of society. Okay, Sam. Thank you. Sir. you got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Please. Next. Aurelia, if you want to ask me any question more, please. Okay. Can I? Oh yeah. Okay, Kalila first. Kalila. Okay. Kalila. Okay. Um, so we consider the customary law and the moral on giving verdict to the defendant. So my question is that is it possible? <clears throat> is it possible that uh, the absoluteness of our main law will fade as time goes by? I mean, because since each area have different customary law and to handle each cases will be different. So is it possible that the absoluteness will, will fade? Okay, thank you. Okay, once again, please. Uh, once again, please, your question. What's your question? Kalila, um, please. Okay, my question is that, is it possible that the absoluteness of our main law um, could fade away as time goes by since we also consider the customary law and moral? Okay, that's okay. That's a good question. I think you know that law should should cope with should be able to cope with the development of society. It depends on judge. So if judge um, assesses that customary law is no longer applicable, for example, now now today that there's a um, equality between husband and wife so um, the law of Skenos will is no longer applicable today but not at the 1950s i guess but it, it was um i, I don't know the uh, the consideration the reasoning is like that well it's beyond my my opinion but i think uh, today as your question if law whether it is written or unwritten as long as it is not criminal law it may be eliminated by the judge okay because law should cope with the uh, development of society even you know in criminal law if for example now now in criminal law or in um, traffic regulation in traffic regulation that's riding riding a bicycle without lamp at night it is a violation and he or she will be uh, sentenced to something rupiah fine you know this law was made when the city was not was not clear was not light like like this in Surabaya at that time you know in 1960s Surabaya um, was very dark now you can you can go to Surabaya just as um, night and they cannot be a different city so 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 clear okay at that time and now if you ride a bicycle without 
lamb um i think and you 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 find you 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 meet a police i think the police will not stop you anymore because such a regulation such a provision i think that's not could be the situation so it was made when surabaya was very on our cities in indonesia were not um, were not uh, as as a life as today okay okay kalila is it is it your question yes yes sir okay okay please another okay, sir. can i ask you a question sure cool. okay so um uh between customary law and statutory law which one is subordinate to the other and why okay well there's a there's a different area i think different area to me unwritten law not customary law unwritten law and i mean um sorry i have to i don't know Mm, sorry, sorry. I have to uh, receive it. Sorry. Um, well, I don't know who who called me, but I don't know. I don't know. And well, I pick up the phone that he, uh, you know, he or she, I don't know, um, and hang up, hang on, hang up, sorry. Okay, <clears throat> well, it is a different area, you know, in business, for example. I insist that in business area that practices should be taken into account in business. But in in criminal law, well, no way. That unwritten law is no way. Okay, Arya? But in business, for example, I insist that there um, practices should be taken into account for example now this is in my experience since my ex my expertise in business law that well this way uh, you know that my my colleague were exporters exporters and he most of them are are men he um gets lc from from the importer okay you know lc letter of credit 
commercial or I, I can uh, sorry I I think that you 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 also get um, um, the LC okay and when he gets the LC and when he or uh, you know um, when he sips the materials and then the, the LC can be tendered to the bank but you know to get payment if it is stated cash it is in in business that cash means 30 days after the LC is tendered to the bank and to to get payment um, immediately there's someone there's someone who who buys the LC but not not a uh, at the price as stated in the LC there there is some reduction for example in the LC it is stated one billion rupiah for example because the, the contract or the uh, the price of the uh, exported product is one billion rupiah for example so the guy who buys the lc um, he can get a deduction perhaps 950 50 uh, 900 950,000 um, 50, 900 million 50,000 something like that but it gets immediately the uh, fresh money okay <clears throat> now now if there's conflict in this transaction there's no law provides such a transaction so that should be um, relied upon to a practice what is in practice so best practices in business should be taken into account in um, in settling the case okay Arya clear Okay, you you drink. I also drink. Yeah. Okay, next, please. Karina, Kania, yeah, Kania. Your name is Kania. I would like to ask if globalization could affect the uh, hey, hey, louder, louder, please, because your your colleague could could not hear your voice. Um, so can, can you hear me now? Is it still sound? Go, go ahead. Um, so since um there is. Globalization can globalization affect degradation to common <laughs> My wife. <laughs> could, you, could you more softer, please? <laughs> can you louder and uh, my wife uh, should be to be softer. Okay. Ah, go on. Is my mic? Wait, wait, wait. Well, Adia, can you hear? Can you hear? Uh, I think I think voice? she has a problem with her mic. Try try using earphone, like Tanya. Oh yeah, I think okay. Okay, I think it's, it's, it's the problem. The problem with the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But uh, I'm sorry. I could. I. I. I cannot hear your voice. Perhaps uh, you have to use another loudspeaker. The mi microphone. Sorry, not loudspeaker. Microphone. Yeah. 
Oke. Okay. <laughs> like a, like in fair, you know, in a fair. In a fair. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Is it? Oh no. Closer, closer. Put it closer. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Come on. Is yeah. This, uh, uh, is this? Okay, so since there there is globalization, mm -hmm. uh, can globalization affect degradation to common law value? Okay, good. It is not common law. <laughs> Sorry, custom law. Yeah, common custom law, you mean? Oh, well, okay, that's that's good question. Is the globalization what kind of globalization? Economic globalization. Is there any law? Legal globalization? No, no. You know, in economic globalization, and Indonesia is also a member of WTO, so in economic activities, we have to uh, subscribe or we have to comply fully with the uh, WTO, but not with customary law. So globalization does not affect customary law. Okay? Only um, if, for example, the Minangkabau people live in Surabaya or in Jakarta, I think it is um, that the Minangkabau law um maybe maybe not applicable to to the to the couple okay yeah. let alone if uh, there's a minangkabau uh, um uh, uh, that you know the husband is minang and their wife is not minang well, I think this it is a different tribes and different culture. I think it is not um, the Minang Minang law may not be applicable, or Japanese law perhaps uh, the wife is Japanese is not applicable either. So what what kind of law? Well, I think it is it is uh, well I'm not expert in in customary law, but I think. If you you ask me, it is not about globalization, but because the development of society will dictate the development or the change of law. Okay. Okay, Karina. Can you? Okay. Sorry, thank Kania? you, Okay. May I have one well, more question? Sure, sure. Um, what else could be the factor to um, a potential degradation? For um, com uh, customary law, besides sure, good. development of the society. Itself. Okay, it is not. <laughs> so it is. It is not because of uh, globalization or anything else, but it is about the development of society. Not only. Not only is customary law affected by the uh, development of society. But also the, the written law also affected by the development of society. So when society develops, so the laws should be adjusted in such a way that it can cope with the development. Okay? Not only customary law. All laws should be um, made to cope with the uh, development, okay, okay, Kenya. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay, fine. Can I ask a any, question? Any, any, yeah, please, please. Gisela, Gisela, please. You previously stated that 
the law is separate from customary law, right? So what if, like, in the case of KDRT, because there are some customs that uh, says that women should, like, tunduk kepada the husband. Oh, so you know, that case uh, like that, the wife, you mean? The wife, not the woman. The wife should be submitted, yes. should be submitted to the husband. Well, yes. I think it is, it is not only a customary law. I think in civil code at the time that a, wo a wife or, or it is exactly a woman who is in marriage should submit to, um, to the, her husband. And in a civil code, a wife is not allowed to do legal act unless unless she is assisted by her husband. Article 109, one, sorry, 108-110 um, prevent, prevented a wife to do um, legal act. For example, it is not allowed that a woman, uh, sorry, a wife uh, signs a contract. So, at a time, without countersign from the husband. So, so, you have to submit to your wife once you get married. Okay? It is not only in, in, in Japanese culture, also in, in I think in the, in, if you're Muslim, in, in the Quran and the, in the Bible. In the Bible, uh, since I'm a Christian, I, I, I will tell you in one, uh, first Timothy, first Timothy um, chapter six, I guess, that, women are not allowed to um, to teach and in the efficient efficient you know hi husband um honor your wife love your wife wives wives submit to your husband this is, it is not only in the customary law, Isela. It is also in, in other religion. I, I think in, in the Quran uh, also, even in the, in the Quran, uh, Ibu Sarabini told me that um, a woman may not be allowed to be a leader. Okay? Okay, thank you. Who else? Isela, okay. Go on. Okay. No, no. Not a question. Please. Once you ask me. Excuse me, sir. Uh, uh, previously, Prof. Peter stated that practice should be taken into account. And my mm -hmm. question is, uh, why is customary law not codified? Thank you. Oh, well. Uh, Sorry. I'm not expert in customary law, but according to my colleague, who is expert in customary law, uh, the of, uh, customary law, some customary laws are still intact, but some are eliminated by the court. Okay, I, I, so well, I'll I also uh, tell you that. Customary law deals only with inheritance law. You know, inheritance law. For example, a Japanese um, adopts parental system. This means that when um, the father 
dies, his children, whether um, whether boys or girl, um, men or women, they they get both um, both um, part of the division, the same division, the same part. That in Islamic law, a woman gets a half as the uh, husband gets. I don't know how the, uh, the, the calculation is. But in Japanese, it is uh, they stated that when a father or mother dies and the children both men men and women get the same portion okay is it still um ap applicable yes now it is still applicable okay uh Yes, sir. Yes. It's still applicable. Not all of um, customary law is inapplicable. It is still applicable. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Can I ask another question? Sure. Okay, so like my dad works in real estate and sometimes even if we buy the land from the government there are people who claim that the land is theirs because it has been passed on by their family so in customary law is it possible to like own land without a certificate oh well it's about land land is it about yes. land a land yes. is land is a um is prescribed in agrarian law not in customary law okay oh. okay well okay that's 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 the answer that's the answer okay can i ask a question sir sure Oh, so me so, Hisham. So it's my on. question is, uh, what's the main difference between the customary international law and no, the yes. normal? Customary Not normal law? nation. Yes. No, yeah. you mean <laughs> you know customary international law and and uh, in the in national customary law. Okay, not normal. <laughs> so it, you know customary international law, for example. You know that the General Assembly Declaration is not law. It's not a source of law. General Assembly Declaration of the United, United Nations is not a law. It's not a source of law. It is only a declaration. But, you know, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights adopted on December 10th of 1948 now is accepted as law. It is not law really because it is it is not made by the state. It is not made um, by convention or any other treaties. But it is accepted as customary international law. And when I studied in the United States, it is also called instant customary international law. Okay, so customary international law, perhaps, um, well, um, something or some action, some acts that have been practiced, have been practiced for a long time by by state, for example, now, um, recognition, you know, the elements of states are three. The elements of states are three. First, 
territory. The second, people. And the third is government. As long as these elements satisfy the condition of the state and the state exists. Okay? Um, to the fact, or in Latin, we call it de facto, factually, factually, that the state exists when it satisfies three elements. First, the territory. The second is the people. The third is the government. Okay? But there's also what we call an um, optional element recognition by other states, especially by the big five in the United States. For example, <clears throat> Palestine, Palestine. Factually, in fact, it is a state when our, our president um, last week addressed in the United States, in the United Nations. Sorry, this, when, when he addressed in the United Nations, um, our president recognized Palestine as a state. But the big five, especially the United States, does not recognize the Palestine. So recognition is uh, what we, we call customary international law. It is not, it is not prescribed in written law, but it is it is um, accepted as a um, customary law. Okay, so this is the example of um, customary international law. Indonesia rec rec recognized the Palest uh, Palestine state. Okay, Isan. Okay. Yes. Isan? Thank you. Any other question? No? Well, I think if there's no other question, no further question, it would be better that I, I terminate this session and I'll see you again on Wednesday, perhaps this, this, uh, this afternoon, um, the doctor will allow, allow us to, to go back to my home and I can give you a um, lecture from, from my home. I hope that it, it, it will be like that. Okay, no, no, no more question? No more? Okay, can I terminate this session? Okay. No more question? No? Okay, can I terminate this, this session? Yes, Prof. Yes, yeah? Prof. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you Prof. Much. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Okay. God bless you too, sir. Yeah.